Hello, welcome to Croatia Vibes. This is Katarina van der Fort and today I want to show you this wonder. This is a village in Croatia and um, it is a very small village in the heart of Croatia which is called Rastoke. As you can see it has a long river and this river is one of the most beautiful rivers in Croatia and uh, this river has several waterfalls as you can see the waterfalls in this river is amazing and uh, it is really great because this village is a, a fairy tale like village it's a really historical village and I've been living here for the past five six seven years I'm telling you so I'm um, almost seven years living in this uh, place and this uh, I just actually live in this uh, city not actually in this village but in this city I live about 10 minutes from this wonderful village so whenever I want to, to make a walk I usually come here and you can have just actually a walk around the village and get to mesmerize about the beauty of this uh, place as you can see it is amazing look at those rocks they have been uh, they've gone through the process of uh, uh, erosion in the river and actually they were recently taken if you look inside they have some kind of um, erosion and they are aerated and you can see the river is flowing we just had some rain a few days ago that's why you can see the water is not clear but if you come here in the summer or in spring when we don't have a lot of uh, rain this water is crystal clear you can actually see the fish and the life under the water so this is the village that we call Rastoke it is really amazing so one of the reasons I fell in love with this village was Rastoke or in this place because when I came here I was really mesmerized and perturbed flabbergasted by the beauty of Croatia by the beauty of Rastoke because when I came here in Croatia the first time I thought the coast is the only beautiful part of Croatia but I was wrong clearly I was wrong as you can see these waterfalls are amazing amazing I'm telling you look at that this is amazing usually in summer uh, you, the place you see up there the terrace the, it is a uh, uh, a small bar so there is usually a lot of people sitting there on the waterfalls drinking some beer or some wine or some coffee as you know Croatia is actually very big uh, in terms of coffee culture and in terms of beer culture so you find that there are a lot of people coming here just to enjoy this uh, culture like uh, the coffee culture and also to enjoy the beauty of this place just listen to the waterfalls isn't that amazing so over here you can see some small little seats uh, these benches you can sit on them and actually this is an apple tree so usually in the end of uh, around uh, September there you'll find some ripe apples here and you can just pick an apple sit down here and enjoy the beauty of this small little village of Rastoke and enjoy the waterfalls and actually just get to enjoy this amazing place so we are in the middle of winter as you can see uh, definitely nice it's definitely beautiful but also very cold <laughs> so I'm feeling a lot of cold because I came here during uh, it's uh, 7 a.m. in the morning I wanted to capture 
the beauty in the morning before it is flooded with a lot of people so over there you can see the bridge of the main road the d1 road so in croatia so you can see up there you can see the rocks the golden rocks uh, as reflected by the sun so you can capture this beauty in front of your eyes without any trouble i'm telling you so over here you can see this amazing amazing waterfalls and uh, i can't really just get enough of it every time i come to this place i get to enjoy the beauty of croatia i get to enjoy i, I get reminded every day why i came to croatia because this kind of beauty a lot of people just dream of this place is really like a dreamy uh, village it's like a place out of the movie it's almost like it's it's like something that doesn't exist in real life look at that waterfalls so there is more waterfalls here you can see the more villages there are more houses most of them are wooden houses and of course very beautiful houses as you can see here the waterfalls are amazing i can't believe it that it is really i just live about five minutes uh, from here about 10 minutes five minutes from here uh, by car is just um, about one minute and, I, and then i'm already here but I like to walk so you can see this beauty of the waterfalls. I'm telling you, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. I love it. And I think Croatia really has a lot of nature. It might be a poor country. It might be a country without a lot of money. But what you get from this country is nature, it's beauty, it's amazing it's really amazing here over here in summer we usually have some people showing off their skills of uh, uh, slacking so there is usually um, a rope from that corner to this corner here and then you can see some people showing off their skills of uh, slacking and uh, it is really amazing to see somebody playing with the water i'm playing around here with the nature it's really amazing this is a place in croatia remember i'm showing you uh croatia and uh this uh, little village is called rastoke so if you have not been to rastoke this is what is there to see to enjoy to love to just enjoy the nature over the before corona came before the pandemic we used to have a lot of tourists coming to this place to see the fairy tale village to see these uh, amazing waterfalls and the water mills because uh, buildings you can see there they are water mills they used to have a lot of people coming here during that time and it was really amazing because we used to get a lot of tourists and tourists is good for this country tourist uh, tourism is really amazing for this country because it's one of the main um, source of economic income in Croatia economic activity a lot of people are living from uh, tourism including me <laughs> so over here you can see most of these houses have turned uh, to be holiday homes the houses you can see here so you find that a lot of people have holiday homes here and uh, of course they make a living from it and this place carries a lot of um, history in Croatia because it has been there forever like forever it is historical 
it has existed since time and memorial. Look at that beauty, I'm telling you. Look at that. This is amazing. This is really amazing. So as you can see, it has really existed for a long time. And uh, it has a lot of uh, fairy tale like stories. The people of uh, this uh, region of Rastoke and also of Sluny used to, to believe in fairies and um, fairy tale stories. So here you can find a legendary story that uh, initially is actually very interesting because they used to say that over this waterfall here, this big waterfall that I'm going to show you just in a second, this one here used to actually have fairies, very beautiful fairies and uh, they used to come here and of course uh, dance and um, impress men uh, from this region so this is the biggest waterfall of Rastoke and uh, as you can see it's really amazing it's really amazing and I think I love it every time I come here and every time I walk around here and I'm able to see this amazing waterfall I get amazed I get perplexed I'm telling you because this is something that I've not seen anywhere else and uh, nobody can give you this just from the city I know there are many people who like city life but uh, actually this is what you are missing if you are into the city life because waterfalls are amazing a lot of people know about Plifisa Lakes uh, National Park there is also great it's amazing but actually Plit with the lakes is just about 35 minutes from this uh, village 35 minutes from this waterfalls so if you are thinking of uh, visiting uh, Plit with the lakes you can just have a stop because these waterfalls are actually they're actually about uh, along the way you uh, they're actually along the way because I showed you the main road the main road is just here so then you can just have a stop and have a walk here or even just stay here for one or two nights and then get to enjoy this beauty as you go to plead with the lakes look at that I love it I don't know about you but for me I really love it it's amazing it's great wow so when you come here when it is snowy and um, it's, uh, uh, it's really freezing, sometimes you might be lucky enough to find uh, these waterfalls frozen. Then it's really gonna be amazing. So as you can see, um, the, these waterfalls have uh, these, uh, it takes your breath away. This big they like waterfalls is the largest in Rastoke. Rastoke book would be even larger and more impressive had it not the uh, had it not the large two barriers in 1914 1914 caved in and raised the water level of Korana while lowering the height of the waterfall. The name itself implies the noise of Buka. Noise that is that the waterfalls make book is almost a synonym for a waterfall especially in past regions of Croatia and in Dalmatia so here as you can see this waterfall is called book it is the largest and they say it will have been even larger were it not for the everything that happened in 19, uh, uh, 1914 and uh, the waterfall caved in and as you can see 
now it's not as huge but it's really amazing it's amazing oh my goodness look at that this is a great shot it's a beautiful shot it's really amazing and look at that oh my god i am so so amazed oh my goodness so if you want to make your uh, beautiful uh, visit in this place uh, if you want to have a beautiful beautiful visit in Plivita, please include uh, this place in your bucket list include uh, Rastoke in your bucket list because Rastoke is amazing Rastoke is beautiful look at that wow i can't believe it it's amazing it's beautiful and this is just part of the village i've not taken you through the whole walk the whole waterfalls the whole beautiful village and then you'll be able to really see and if you come here in summer you can be able to swim in the river river corana is allowed to swim so usually we have a lot of people coming here to swim in summer so guys this is really amazing i love it i'm enjoying it and i think this is the most beautiful beautiful one of the most beautiful places i've ever been to and especially now because there are no tourists and uh, because now it is early in the morning i can see the sunrise and i'm also sharing this beauty with you uh, as uh, my followers uh, and as uh, people who like croatia vibes because i promise to bring you all the beauty in croatia i promise to bring you a lot of interesting wonderful amazing uh, things and uh, places in croatia beautiful places to visit in croatia so if you're thinking of planning your trip to come to Croatia this uh, summer, don't forget to really enjoy this area. Don't forget to come here and enjoy this beauty. Or even maybe in future, maybe you have plans of coming to Croatia and visiting in this place. It is the best time to visit actually in winter. Because in winter, you can enjoy the beauty all by yourself. You can enjoy this life here all by yourself. You can be able to have a walk in this place all by yourself. So the best time to visit is in winter and things are not expensive. But the other second best time to visit um, this uh, place, Rastoke, or Plitvitsa Lakes for that matter, because Plitvitsa Lakes is just... Uh, about 35 minutes from uh, Rastoke. The next best time is in September or in uh, May because May uh, the tickets to the lakes are cheap and uh, you can also be able to really enjoy the, the lakes because there are not so many people, it is not so crowded so you are able to enjoy this place and the lakes and actually the most amazing thing about uh, Rastoke is that you can actually be able to see all this beauty for free you don't have to pay a single coin to see everything around here everything i'm showing you is for free even the swimming is for free the nature is for free walking around Rastoke is for free only if you want to go uh, inside uh, Rastoke because as you can see it is uh, like a, a small fortified uh, village full of waterfalls uh, like it's really fortified with uh, waterfalls if you want to go in the protected area because this is uh, an area that is protected by the UNESCO you have uh, to pay some entry fee but really you can enjoy most of the waterfalls and most of the tour for free. So don't be afraid that you think that uh, you have to pay some entry fee. No, all this is for free. All this is provided for free by nature. So I hope 
to see you in Croatia soon. I hope to that you're going to come here and enjoy this beauty soon. That you're going to come here and see the waterfalls of the beautiful, sleepy village, fairy tale like village in Croatia. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next one.